On today's show, the rumors were true! You know you're gonna make some money! Cha-ching! <laughs> For Mario Bros. 35, we'll be launching a Nintendo Switch on October 1st and will only be available to play until March 21st, 2021. Oh! Those kind of games are the games that would be great on the Nintendo online service. Sort it out, Nintendo. Uh, if you like the video today, don't forget to push the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Su -su 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 subscribe! Subscribe! Bill, chill, chill. I've got a headache. Bill, I feel sick. Do Bill be drunk all night celebrating Mario Sweet? <laughs> oh! We had mushrooms, Bowser was there. Oh. Bill, I forgot my line. Hello! You're watching NNN on new Nintendo News. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hello! You're watching NNN. Or new Nintendo news. On, mm, mm, mm. on today's show, the rumors were true! Oh, Nintendo finally, finally graced us with the Mario 35th Nintendo Anniversary Direct. Kicking off Mario's 35th Direct was the Nintendo Game and Watch System. Game and Watch System. Oh my days! How much? The game when? Super Mario um, Brothers, the lost levels. Uh, the Game and Watch system was originally released in Japan in 1980. And was the invention of Gunpei Yoko. He also was the creator of the original Game Boy, RIP. It comes pre installed with the full. The full Super Mario Brothers, and it also operates as a digital clock, staying true and faithful to the original Game on Watch product. Game Watch. Game on Watch. It also comes with a special edition version of Brawl, which was actually the first game which launched on the original Game on Watch in 1980. Brawl. But they've just replaced the main characters have been Mario's. These are going to sell like hot cakes, hot cross buns, mate. You know you're gonna be rich, right? They're gonna be flying off the shelves. <laughs> they have re-released the original Game on Watch, which came with Ball on the My Club Nintendo reward scheme. Game Watch. They then also released a collection of Game & Watch games yeah. on the Nintendo DS that was also available through the My Club Nintendo Rewards scheme only. Actually, Bill, I've not even pre-ordered one. Can I go and pre-order one now, rapid? Okay. Game & Watch Super Mario. Yes, please, add to Bask. Ah! Sold out! Don't forget that you can pick up Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch but you can't pick it up anymore. It's coming out on Friday the 13th of November and it's priced at $44.99. Kicking off our next story, Super Mario 3D World, oh yes! There we go. What is this? What is this? What is it? Bowser's Fury, a little DLC, I like that, I like that. What's that? Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more! This game is... Oh, damn, son! Super Mario 3D World launched on the Nintendo Wii way back in 2013. You old son! Nintendo will be releasing Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury! <laughs> they aren't prepared to announce what Bowser's Fury actually is. I really want a sizable chunk of additional bonus content the more for that super mario 3d world it's a it's an amazing game so you, i can't critique it why are you so old the fact that only five million people have played this game in the whole entire world <laughs> means that it's basically untouched so it's definitely going to find a new audience the sales numbers are going to be insane when you're looking at the switch sales of their evergreen franchises such as animal crossing zelda mario kart smash Brothers, super mario 3d world is going to sell big it's going to sell north north end of you know you're gonna make some money! Cha-ching!
Moving on to the next game of the segment. Yes. Yet again, another way for Nintendo to repackage Super Mario Bros. Nintendo announced that they would be bringing you out again. Yes, Super Mario Bros. the original game is coming out again. But this time, it's not operating as a 35 35? 35 player battle royale game. Oh yes, Nintendo have done it again. With 35 players? Oh, Mario! This the item roulette. Oh, amazing. That's not on the other line today. Until I will play that today. Mario standing Is that online now? Running. Nintendo always found a way to repackage this same game. They have merged the two genres together and made Super Mario Bros. 35. 35 players all have to make their way through one Mario level until only one player is left standing. And any enemies, any enemies that you defeat on your way, you can send them to other players and hinder their progress. You can collect coins throughout the level and then you can use those coins to buy power-ups to... It's, it's a madness, it's a madness. If Mario Bros. 35 will be launching on Nintendo Switch on October 1st and will only be available to play until March 21st, 2021? Then is that right? It doesn't make any sense. That is right. Why would they do that? Right, I get the fact that you want to celebrate Mario's anniversary, so this is a period in time where you have to have been there to have got it. Do you know what I mean? It's a celebration, we can't celebrate 35 forever. But put it on sale, don't store the game away in your hard drive, don't take the game away forever. Until March 31st, 2021. No, that, is, that, is that not a permanent game? Make that permanent. What? Those kind of games are the games that would be great on the Nintendo online server. If you can reimagine all of your classic franchises in a real creative and fresh and fun way, like Tetris 99 and Mario 35, your Nintendo online service then has so much more value and is doing something that no other developer, no other publisher, no other company can. The fact that you would only have this up for three months is mind blowing. October, November, December, January, February, March. Five months. I'm, I'm disappointed in that, but Nintendo have done this kind of remix before with the NES remix, which came out originally on the Wii U. They would get their 8 bit games and they would remix them, turn them into mini games. They would remix levels like the classic Mario World 1 1, wouldn't play how you would normally expect it to play. But I think we should get more of that. It would be absolutely amazing if Nintendo could keep applying this Tetris 99 Mario 35 effect and putting those on Metroid, on Kirby, on Star Fox, on F Zero, and putting those online. Sort it out, Nintendo. Moving on to our next. <laughs> Sorry. Got too excited there. Moving on to our next story. Yes, Mario Kart. Where did that come from? Oh, yes. Mario Kart. It can't be any Mario Kart. Oh! Oh! What is this? What is that? Oh, my days. What is it? Oh, my days. Yeah! Augmented reality. Ah! Now. I need this now. Are you having a laugh? Oh my day! Don't be cheeky! Do not be cheeky! Do not be cheeky! Do not be cheeky! <laughs> Arguably the biggest game of the announcement was Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Yes! Nintendo's biggest departure from the Mario Kart series to date isn't actually a game, it's an interactive AR toy experience. Oh yes, Nintendo have done this again. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit launches on the Nintendo Switch on Friday the 16th of October and costs £100. Yes, that's £100 per cart. One, zero, zero. 100 um, and the software is actually a free game download so there's not actually a car inside the box yes the game is free you are paying 100 pounds specifically for the cart okay. it's gonna be a nightmare playing the game in anyone's house everybody practically in England either has car for or you've got floorboard but nobody has that did you see how big that house was 
The house was massive! I don't have that real estate. I don't even know where I'm gonna be playing that game, to be honest. Find some pavement or somewhere. Rearrange the living room. I don't know. If you gotta play four player Mario Kart Home Live, you gotta have four switches. You've got to have four carts. I don't even know how much that costs. It's like the new generation Game Boy Advance setup, but it's it's genius. It's genius. However, where is Nintendo Kart? Where is that? If the next Mario Kart is indeed Nintendo Kart, which you were kind of already leaning to in Mario Kart 8 DLC, we got used to seeing the Animal Crossing franchise in Mario Kart. You started teasing the F Zero franchise. You put Mew City in there, you had the F-Zero music, you did the Hyrule stage, Link. Like, we're ready for this Nintendo. Give us Nintendo Kart. That, that's what we want, really. <laughs> and lastly, yes, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It was a thing, yes. I'm okay, I wanted a, I wanted a remodel. That's fine, though. You bring me sunshine, my only sunshine. I'm the biggest since I was like 18. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, 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 bum. Yes! Yes! When? When? Mario 3D All Stars game is coming mm. to the Nintendo Switch system. Nintendo will be releasing their trio of classics on September the 18th. Yes, only two weeks away. Who would have thought that? <laughs> I didn't! September 18th! September 8th, pre orders will be available starting today on Nintendo eShop. Hello! eShop all day, mate. eShop. This collection is a highly rated must buy. It's purely for the fact of Super Mario Sunshine. That game has been lost to time. Mario Sunshine launched in 2002 and it hasn't been seen since. There's been no official way to play this game. Super Mario 64 has seen re releases on other consoles from since its inception. And Super Mario Galaxy is a relatively new release in the grand scheme of things. Nintendo have decided to make this a limited edition one and the game will only be available to purchase from today as a pre-order up until March 31st, 2021. Why? Why? It makes no sense. If Nintendo want to make the physical edition very limited, highly sought after, and create a buzz around it, that's absolutely fine. I get that, Nintendo. You did it with Super Mario All-Stars on the Wii when that came out. That was a limited run. You can't buy that now. It's a collector's item. I get it. I'm here for that. However, to stop making the game available on digital, why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you restrict the amount of money that you could make from this collection? by ceasing to stop or production of it. Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario 64 haven't been available to play in this current generation in this quality officially. So why can you not continue to give us this? Why? Individually after March 31st or for Mario 64, Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy for individual purchase. If you're going to do that, that's absolutely fine. So overall, a great direct from Nintendo. Ultimate Stop game. Stop it! it! It's what the fans were waiting for. And a reward closer reward to me. the Splat Fest. In yeah. addition, physical Splat, Splat, Splat Fest. It's what we wanted. Oh Ultimate my days, you're just attacking Animal everything. Crossing New Horizons game. And thank you for crunching our first. the video today don't forget to push the subscribe button it really helps the channel out if you like the video give it a like if you don't give that little thumb down why would you do that though anyway just don't watch the video to subscribe subscribe <laughs>